Hello, yogis. Happy to join you. My name is Kat, and I'm going to be leading you through a 60-minute practice today. So um, I hope you're all doing well today. I am really excited to be here, being out in nature, getting a chance to slow everything down. And it's not raining. And it's not so raining. Come on out yeah, if you're come on, come we're out here down. In Victory Field. Yeah, we're on Victory Field, and so we have classes that live stream seven days a week, and it's really important, especially as we start to transition from what was our normal life to reestablishing and navigating these new frontiers. It's really important for us to find community. And so I think Mystic Fitness hi, gives us that opportunity to establish that community. Even when we can't be close by, we can still be connected, whether it's virtually through these live streams or it's here on Victory Field. Um, we're also opening up the studio, obviously, in a very safe and limited way so that we're able to connect there as well. So we hope you can join us. And um, again, take your time. If you have them, I suggest you grab two blocks, bring them to the front of your mat, place your mat down, and get into a comfortable position, whether you're seated or lying down on the ground. Just find a way where you can decompress. <sighs> so as you... Close your eyes. Allow for just the weight of your eyelids to become really heavy. Notice what it feels like for you to allow for any energy to settle. Notice the colors behind your eyes. Maybe even noticing the sounds that you might hear. sounds from within your own room, the sounds from outside your space. Notice what it feels like to focus on something else, to just take in what there is to take in. Allow for your jaw to soften. Unlock any tension throughout the cheeks. Let the muscles in the face become really slack and heavy. Notice the release of tension from the shoulders. And let that wave of tension just create this cascading effect over the body. Maybe your mind's eye jumps from body part to body part. And as it does, let there be that wave of release within its wake. Slowly start to cultivate your breath. So as you inhale, let the belly expand. Let the ribs expand. Let the top of the chest have that expansion and opening. And as you exhale, let the air just draw out of you. Belly, ribs, chest, everything comes back home. As you inhale, expand the belly, the ribs, the chest, everything grows. And as you exhale, follow that breath out. Notice what it feels like to take in just a little bit more air. So each time there might be this circulation of air around the heart space, this cushioning of support. And as you exhale, let it all go. Giving yourself this opportunity let the mind refocus back on the breath. 
Use that as an anchor to come back home. Give yourself one more deep breath in. And this time, as you exhale, open up your mouth. And just let it go. Take another deep breath in. And sigh it out. And if you are lying down on your back, I encourage you to softly and gently make your way up to a seated position. If you are seated, keep your eyes closed and maybe you start to move your neck, circling it around. Notice how you move. Maybe there's this urgency. When we've been home so much, there might be this urgency to move. See if you can indulge in being soft and generous with the body. Taking your time, circling out the neck, going in both directions. Continually let the jaw soften. Notice what it feels like, any cricks, cracks, and creaks that might make their way. Notice without judgment. Coming into center. Bring your hands to your shoulders. On your inhale, let those shoulders lift up towards the sky. And as you exhale, drop them down and back. As you inhale, lift them up. Maybe you keep your eyes closed, exhale down and back. So you can tune into the experience rather than trying to force anything. I'm just going two more times, lifting up, expanding, stretching those shoulders up. Exhale down and back and one more time. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale down and back. Coming into center, bring your hands to your knees. Let your torso go over towards the right and on your inhale forward. As you exhale, go over to the left and round back. Inhale to the right, forward, exhale to the left and circle it back. So we're almost creating this coffee grinder sensation with our lower back. Noticing any tension that we're hanging on to. You know, sometimes we have these stories that we tell ourselves stories of tension, stories that might be wonderful, stories that might have shadows to them. And what we want to do here is just tune into what it's like to be you right here, right now. There's no story, there's just experience. And then one more time around, circling it around. And then the next time you're back, we're just gonna switch to the opposite direction, moving. Maybe you move your head, your neck, your shoulders, unlocking any of those tight threads of tension. Maybe there's a gentle lifting up of the corners of your mouth as you move. And just coming into center. On your inhale, lifting the arms up to the sky. Gaze might follow up, or eyes might stay closed. As you exhale, flip the hands, tuck chin to chest, lower the hands down. One more time, inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Keep them up there. Make two fists, circle at the wrists. Maybe even lift one shoulder higher than the other. Finding an organic motion and movement for the body can feel quite lovely. And it's nice not to be forced into any position, but just to experience this opening. Arms up, reach up, deep breath in. What are you thankful for today? As you exhale, bring it right back to heart space. Hands come to the heart. Anjali Mudra, gently bowing your chin. Coming into your intention for today, for this practice. And if nothing comes to mind, maybe the thought is, to be grounded, to be connected. May we always stay curious. May we always stay in awe. Slowly make your way down into your tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we're gonna 
Take some cats and cows. So as you inhale, lift the tailbone, belly lowers, chest opens up to the front of your mat. Let the front of the arms face to the front of the mat. As you exhale, tuck the pelvis, round the back, push it up to the sky. Inhale, lift the tailbone, open up the heart space, front of the arms, face front of the mat. And as you exhale, round into it, a slight pressing back of hips to heels to open up the lower back. One more time, lift the tailbone, open up the heart space. And exhale, let the air go, slightly press hips back towards the heels. Inhale, coming into this neutral position. You're going to step that right foot to the back of your mat, digging the toe into the earth and just a slight shifting forwards and backwards. So if this feels like there's too much pressure on the wrist, just bring your hands forward slightly. Notice what it feels like for you to tune in. Be mindful with your body. Come out of what you think you should look like and come into what it feels like for you. Coming into center, lift the foot up at hip height. Take a deep breath in, making sure those hips are nice and even. As you exhale, draw the right knee into the chest and round that back. As you inhale, extend the leg. Now as you exhale, bend your elbows, bring your chest down to a hover or one inch or two inches, and then press back up on your inhale. As you exhale, hug the knee into the chest, round the back, inhale, extend, Exhale, bend those elbows, come down, find that little mini push up and press up on your inhale. Last time, knee into the chest, extend the leg, bend the arms and press up. Now from here, drop your right foot to the back of your mat. We're gonna find a side plank. The right arm reaches up to the sky. Yeah, tuck the pelvis, lift up that right hip a little bit higher. Option to extend and lift that Right leg up, even extending that right arm towards the front of your mat. Feel the opening within the right side of the hip. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, drop the right hand down. Drop the right knee down. Extending the left leg to the back of your mat. Lift it up at hip height. Oh, drop it down. I lied. We're going to shift forwards and backwards. I want to make sure we do the both things on both sides. As you shift forwards and backwards, you might move the neck, the head, the shoulders. If your mind starts to go away from this moment, I encourage you to focus on the breath. Now we'll lift up the foot at hip height. Take a deep breath in, activating through that left foot. As you exhale, curl the knee into the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend those elbows towards the ribs. Come down, one, two, three inches and then press back up. Knee into chest as you exhale. Inhale, extend. Bend the arms and press up. Last time, knee into chest, round the back. Extend. Bend the arms and then press back up. Drop the left foot to the back of your mat and lift that left arm up to the sky. Tuck the pelvis, maybe circle out the left hand. Maybe even extend that left arm to, to the front of your mat, tucking the pelvis or lifting that left foot off the ground. What feels right for you in this moment? Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release hand and knee down to the earth. Let the knees open, big toes touch, press back, come into your child's pose. As you, as you come into child's pose, just shift side to side, pressing back, hips to heels. The arms can be extended or bent. Hands might go underneath the forehead. And just notice what it feels like for you to let your body go. To just meet yourself where you are taking away expectation and just be the experience. Knowing that this place is always here for you whenever you need it, whenever you wanna let go, release and just be. Take a deep breath in. Notice how the back stretches up towards the sky and let it all go. And just one more breath, inhaling. 
and exhaling. Extending those arms towards the front of your mat, pressing yourself up, tabletop position. Tucking your toes, lift your knees up to a hover, hollow out the core, push those hands into the earth, fire up the midsection. So there is this firmness that we're trying to focus on. We're noticing the rest of our body, getting active. Take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, press yourself back into your downward facing dog. So as we come into down dog, open up your feet wide to the wide sides of the mat, pedal out, breathe. Notice what it feels like for you to shimmy, shake the head yes, no. What are you taking in today and what are you letting go of? Giving yourself permission to move freely. Take one more deep breath in and out. Slowly taking your time, bend those knees, look forward, and then walk your feet to the front of your mat. As you come to the front of your mat, you can bring forearms to thighs, shaking out the head, yes, no. Maybe bend those knees, straighten them a few times. And then slowly bringing your hands to your thighs, bend those knees. On your inhale, just lift your torso. Coming up, then lift the tailbone, open up the heart space. As you exhale, tuck the pelvis, cats and cows from standing. Inhale, tailbone lifts, chest opens. And exhale to round. And one more time, inhale, lift tailbone, lift the heart space and exhale to round inhale roll up to standing arms sweep up to the sky and as you exhale hands come to your heart space inhale sweep those arms up to the sky palms come together as you exhale bend your elbows hands go behind the back of your head lean back into that canopy into that hammock you've created Notice what it feels like to breathe into the heart space, shimmy the hips, maybe bend the knees, tuck the pelvis, draw the shoulders down and back. On your inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, hinge down, bend those knees, fold forward. Slide your hands to your shins, inhale, halfway lift. Let the crown of the head reach away from the hips, shoulders away from the ears as you exhale, release. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Flare those nostrils, smelling flowers first thing in the morning or coffee. Exhale, let go. Hands to earth. Step your feet to the back of your mat, come into your plank. So in our plank, you might bring those knees to the earth, have your feet far away from each other or close in to make it a little bit more physically active. Push the ground away, squeeze your quads, look down. Look down, slight tuck of the chin. Take one more deep breath in and out. Inhale, knees to earth first time. As you exhale, lower down. So those elbows skim to the ribs. You're lowering down with intention. Chest hits before the belly, we hope. At the bottom, inhale to a baby cobra. So head, shoulders lift up, slight tuck of the chin. As you exhale, slowly release down. One more time, inhale, baby cobra. Use the strength of your upper back to support your core. And exhale to release. Inhale, push up, tabletop position. Tucking the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, lift the tailbone. Take one more deep breath in here and out let your feet come closer together and on your inhale sweep the right leg up to the sky as you exhale bring the right knee over to the right armpit inhale sweep it up exhale knee into the center of the chest one more time inhale up exhale over to the left elbow inhale sweep it up 
As you exhale, step the foot towards the front of your mat. Now you have the option here. If you have blocks or boxes or anything, use them. It's good to have support. Support is a sign of wisdom rather than a sign of weakness. So take what you need. Option to release the left knee down to the earth if you need to. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lengthen the front leg. So if you're doing it with that left knee on the earth, front leg just straightens, same thing. Inhale, bend into the front knee. And exhale to lengthen, wiggle the tailbone. What's there? Inhale to bend. And exhale to lengthen. And one more time, inhale to bend. And exhale to lengthen. Inhale, bending into that right knee. Squeeze the front leg, back leg in towards each other. Inner thighs, hugging in. And then bring the left hand underneath the shoulder. Slowly start to sweep the right arm up to the sky. In this position, start to circle out the right arm, creating big, gigantic, sweeping circles, going in either direction. Notice what's happening with the legs. Did you turn off or can you tune in, turn them on? Next time you have that right arm up to the sky, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release the right hand down. Drop the left heel towards the right. We're gonna come up warrior two. So on your inhale, sweep up, warrior two. So our front foot is facing towards the front of the mat. Back foot, 90 degrees, heel to heel, heel to arch. Arms are open. Get active within the outer edge of that left foot, the heel of the right. On your inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Straighten the front leg. As you exhale, come on down. Inhale, sweep up, squeeze that right quad. And exhale down, that's the upper thigh. One more time, sweep up, look up. And exhale down. Lift the front hand up to the sky. Inhale, right arm sweeps up. Reverse your warrior, look down to the left toes. Take a deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, drop the right elbow down. Left arm sweeps up, bicep to ear. Think about leaning that left shoulder back. Relax the jaw. Tuck the pelvis. Lift the corners of your mouth. Joy starts here, right with you. On your inhale, lift to come up. And as you exhale, spiral your hands down to the front of your mat. Step that right foot to the back of your mat. Plank. Take a deep breath in. And out. Knees to earth or not on this inhale. As you exhale, high plank, low plank. Shoulders stay above those elbows. Flip the feet. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. You do you, boo. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Or child's pose or whatever feels right for you and out. One more deep breath in and out. On your next inhale, bring your feet close together. Lift that left leg up to the sky. As you exhale, you're going to bring that left knee over to the left armpit. Inhale, sweep it up and exhale. Center the chest. Inhale up. And exhale over right armpit. Inhale up. And exhale, step it to the front of your mat. Grab those blocks, right knee to earth. Whatever feels right for you, take a deep breath in, draw shoulders away from the ears. As you exhale, lengthen the front leg, wheel the tailbone, find spaciousness. Inhale, bending in. Exhale to lengthen. And two more times forward, stacking knee over ankle, exhale, shift it back. And last time. And exhale, press it back. Inhale, bending into the right of the left knee. Again, make sure that knee is stacked over the ankle. Right hand, shoulder, all stacked. Block closer to the left leg. The left arm sweeps up to the sky start to circle out and again if it feels right for you to move 
to bend, to straighten. Habit is going to take you to one place. That's the place we've already been. Exploration is going to take you everywhere else. So circle out that left arm. Notice what there is to learn, to gain. Next time you have that left arm straight up to the sky, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release the hand down and drop the right heel to the left. We're gonna open up warrior two. So in that warrior two, left foot is facing towards front of your mat, right foot open, 90 degrees. Draw shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in. How do you fill this position with your breath? On your next inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Straighten the left leg. Exhale, open it back up. Inhale, reach it up. What brings you joy? Exhale, open. Last time. Sweep it up. And exhale to open. Flip the left hand up to the sky, and on your inhale, sweep it up, reverse your warrior. Now, what happened to that left knee? Did it go straight? A lot of times it does. Rebend, stack, get active within the lower half of our body. Power through that outer right edge of the foot. Drop shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath. And on your exhale, release left elbow down. Right arm sweeps up, bicep to ear. Imagine that right shoulder is leaning back against the wall behind you. Relaxing the jaw, push that left elbow down into the knee, create space. Take a deep breath in, tuck the pelvis, get active within that left heel. And on your inhale, torso comes up. As you exhale, spiral your hands front of the mat, step that left foot back to meet the right plank. Hollow out the core, deep breath in. Exhale, high plank, low plank, elbow skim to ribs, flip the feet. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. And out. One more deep breath in. Maybe lifting that tailbone higher up to the sky. Draw your abs in even more. And release. Bend those knees, look forward. Walk, hop, or step your feet to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Shaking at the head, yes and no. Maybe bending and straightening again. Shaking, shoulders, maybe even rocking or coming into ragdoll. Grabbing onto opposite arms on the elbows. Give yourself one more deep breath in and out. Bend those knees, hands to thighs, tuck chin to chest on your inhale. As you exhale, roll up to standing. Inhale, arms sweep up to the sky. And as you exhale, hands are gonna come to the back of the head. Inhale, arms sweep up to the sky. And as you exhale, sink down into your chair. As you sink down into your chair, draw those hips back, hands to heart space. Notice what it feels like, press into the heels, balls of the feet. Palms are pressing firmly in towards each other. Give a slight tuck to the pelvis so that lower back is staying nice and supported. Sink down even lower, holding it here. Take three breaths, inhale and exhale. Feel that warmth firing up through the thighs. Inhale and exhale. And one more time. And exhale. Now stay in this lower position and just start to walk your feet to the back of your mat. Find a little fun sass, a little movement right here. At the back of your mat, hold it. We're gonna just add some soft pulses. So the thing about yoga, we might not be able to get you into a super challenging position that you might find outside, things that trigger you, but what we can do is challenge you in a way physically that might bring up some of those thoughts, some of those intentions. 
how do we deal with that? Especially now, right? Stay down low, start to march your feet in front of your mat. I'm with you. I'm with you. We're doing this together. Hold it down. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, hinge forward. Oh, does that feel nice? Sometimes we don't realize how good we have it until we release. So maybe we can find the joy of being strong, the mental fortitude it takes. Slide your hands to your thighs, tuck chin to chest. Inhale. As you exhale, roll to come up. Arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, hands come to our heart space. Shift the weight over to the right leg, left knee into the chest. Take a deep breath in right here. And then as you exhale, start to twist open to your left side. Right hand on left knee. Left arm sweeps back or not. Doesn't matter. There's no pressure on me. So why do you put the pressure on you? Inhale, come on back to center. Hands to heart space. As you exhale, with intention, kick that left foot back. We're coming into our airplane or warrior three. You might stack the hands on the right thigh or open up, whatever feels right for you. Notice what's happening in the left foot, the right foot. Notice the quivering of your muscles. We don't wanna shy away from that. That's where we're growing. Every place where there's loose foundation is a place for us to plant even deeper. Take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, softly step back into a lunge. Arms sweep up to the sky. Crescent lunge, bending into the right knee. Bend the left knee. Arms open up, goal pose position. Take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, draw elbows together. Tuck the pelvis more. Inhale to open. And exhale, tuck the pelvis more. Last time, open up those arms and exhale, tuck into it. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, straighten the front leg. You're gonna step that left foot forward a little bit, drop the heel down. Hands can come to the hips. Parajvatanasana, pyramid pose. Deep breath in, shoulders away from the ears. As you exhale, start to hinge forward from the hips. Lowering hands down, they can frame the front foot. Hands on blocks or not. Hands on the earth, wiggle the tailbone. Shift from the front foot to the back foot a few times. So again, my mantra is consider, consider. Consider what you're doing to your body. Do we push it because it feels good? Do we let go? So being mindful is taking the course of action that feels right for us. Give yourself another deep breath in and out. On your inhale, hands are gonna slowly slide up that right leg, bending and softening the right knee, roll to come up to a standing position. Arms sweep up, exhale, bend the right knee, warrior one. I'm dropping my arms down to goalpost position. Feel free to keep them up. Notice what it feels like for you to own the position. The position doesn't own us, and each one of us is so different. So how do you embody this? Where do you show up as a warrior? And is it to fight, or is it to keep peace? Take a deep breath in, and out. Now we're gonna get creative here. So shifting to that right foot, we're gonna come up to tree. So anchor down through that right foot. You know what's gonna happen. That left leg starts to lift. It roots down onto the right foot. Down, calf, or above the knee. And then raise those arms up to the sky. Notice every time the foot shakes, wobbles, quivers, how do we root down more? Maybe it's by finding flexibility. Buildings, they sway, they move, they're strong. That's us too, we move, we sway with breeze, with compassion. All right, we have one more balance. Are you ready to rock and roll? So we're gonna find Ardha Chandrasana. 
slowly keeping that right foot anchored down kick that left foot back and on the way maybe you grab a block or a wall or a chair let the right hand come under shoulder that left leg stays lifted now the left hand can go anywhere that feels good for you up down pick your poison it's all good maybe imagine that left shoulder is leaning back take one more deep breath in and out slowly releasing the left foot next to the right go into your forward fold shake out the head yes and no one more deep breath in and let it go what do you have to let go of maybe it's a story we tell ourselves hands to thighs bend those knees tuck chin to chest on your inhale roll up to standing sweep those arms up to the sky and exhale hands come to our heart space bend those knees inhale sweep up find joy within each breath exhale hinge forward find chair and then roll over those thighs inhale halfway lift flatten the back crown of the head reaches away find movement here exhale release Hand, feet to the back of the mat hands to the earth plank take a deep breath in exhale high plank low plank we're all the way down inhale cobra upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog or child's pose deep breath in and out one more deep breath in and out slowly bend those knees look forward walk up or step your feet to the front of your mat forward fold bending those knees move with grace inhale roll up to standing arms sweep up to the sky and exhale hands come to our heart space pausing here for a second root down through that left foot create spaciousness here and then lift that right knee into the chest and if you're outdoors like us you find a divot move you're never stuck in concrete right why do we stay in a place that feels maybe slightly uncomfortable move and shift draw shoulders away from the ears and then bring that left hand across the right knee and twist open to the right side yeah lift the corners of your mouth it can't hurt so it has to help right maybe a little inhale slowly come back to center nice and then as you exhale with the power of that right foot warrior three airplane find that electricity that strength within your body every time the foot taps down that's us learning that's us growing shift the perspective and everything changes bend if you want the left knee stack hands on the thigh press back notice what it feels like for you to cultivate awareness within this position take one more deep breath in and as you exhale slowly plant that right foot to the back of your mat lunge as we come into our lunge draw the shoulders away from the ears and then slowly bend those elbows. Notice the difference there. Sometimes we have to go somewhere else to notice what positions we hang on to. Bend the right knee, tuck down even more, tuck that right hip flexor forward. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, elbows come together, tuck the pelvis. Inhale to open, stay low if you can. Exhale, squeeze it in. Try not to crunch into those left toes, inhale open and exhale curl last time inhale to open broad in the chest and exhale squeeze now inhale open up the arms beautiful hands are going to come to the hips root down for a hot second and then we're going to slowly drop that right heel down straighten that front leg parajvatanasana hands are going to release or shoulders are going to release and then we're slowly gonna find our way hinging forward now the first time i guided you to step that back foot forward is that what you needed 
If so, do it. Sometimes you go into autopilot, especially if someone's telling you what to do. So I encourage you to do what feels right. Be, do what feels good. Shake out the head yes. Shake out the head no. Wiggle the tailbone. The only ones that we can save are ourselves. Right? We do that with mindfulness, with breath, with yoga. Give yourself another deep breath in right here. And out. Now, slowly bending into the left knee, we're gonna roll up to standing. Go slow. There's no race, there's no rush. We don't win when we hit the top. Sweep the arms up to the sky, straighten that left leg, and then exhale, bend into it, finding your warrior one. Drop shoulders away from the ears. So from the warrior one, we're gonna find tree. So find your Care Bear focus to the front of your mat, stare down, and then shifting the weight, ground down left foot, let that right leg open, tree position. Draw shoulders away from the ears, let the body sway. Finding our proprioception, where we are on this planet, how we connect, breathe. All right, are you ready for our last balance of this section? We're finding Ardha Chandrasana, standing half moon. So as we slowly kick that right foot back, let the torso fall forward towards that left leg, front of the mat. You might grab a block on your way, make it part of the dance as you grab onto that block or lean against a wall, lift that right leg up towards the sky. You can even bend and straighten your legs. Do what feels right for you in this moment. Notice if it feels like there's extreme pressure or tension, how do we make it feel better? Because after all, that's kind of what life is about. It's navigating that kind of pressure. How do we release it? Take another deep breath in and out. Now, from this position, you're gonna step that right foot all the way to the back of your mat the torso is gonna lift up. You're gonna dial all toes to the long side of your mat. Open up the palms, five-pointed star. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, start to hinge forward. Lead with the heart. Lower head, neck, shoulders down. Finding your wide-legged forward fold. If you are a toe-turner inner, I want you to find more of a neutral position. Again, habit takes you to every place you've been. Why not try something slightly different? Maybe it's a better place for you. And you can start to explore bending the right knee and then bending the left knee. So throughout this quarantine, I'm a hiker. I'm a runner. And throughout this quarantine, I've been continuing climbing mountains and running and I've injured myself. And it's been so interesting to force myself to find different ways to reconnect by softening places that can soften rather than pushing forward. We feel like there's the expectation that everything has to get done because we're home. And we, in doing so, maybe don't do anything. So how do you find compassion for yourself, especially when you're so willing to find it for other people. So we'll come into our forward fold, letting the head shake down. Yes, no. And it's a very, I think, common thing for us to do is to find the sweetness that we bring for other people, the compassion, the loving advice, and we don't always offer it to ourselves. Or maybe you do. And if so, you should share that with us. How do you offer yourself compassion? We'd love to hear from you. Stay connected as much as you can without pressure. Now slowly taking your time, bend those knees. We're gonna roll up to a standing position. 
as we roll up to a standing position, we're gonna toe heel our feet in to find our goddess pose. Find the position that feels right for you. And as you do, toes out, heels in, bending those knees. If the butt goes back, does that feel right for you? Hold it there. If it feels good, tuck the pelvis, draw those shoulders down and back. Let the arms come into any position that feels right for you. Lift the toes and then place them down softly. Now anchoring down, I want you to lift the right heel and release it down and then lift the left and release it down. So we're going to continue lifting the right, lowering it down and then lift the left and lower it down. So you can continue to alternate or maybe lift both. Do what feels right, lower it down. So when we change the way we think, we change our perspective two more times. So either alternating right, left, or both. Last time, lift. And then drop down, pressing through those heels, lift to come up. Dial your toes towards the right, and then bend the right knee, step left foot to the front of your mat sink down into your chair and then drop your forearms to your thighs so anytime i'm working my body i'm working my mind i change my perspective the way i think about it i do this because i love myself i do this because it feels right feels good anchor through that left elbow press those hips back more like you're about to hike a football i think and then slowly lift that right arm up to the sky, finding a twist. Now you can keep both knees bent a lot. Or you might start to straighten the right leg, see if that feels good for you. And if it doesn't, just bend, it's all good. Sometimes you need to know those two ends of the spectrum. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly release the right elbow down to the knee. Press those hips back more, anchor through the right elbow, left arm sweeps up to the sky. As you do that, again, straighten, bend, notice where there's tension building up and how do we release it? You, how do you navigate your own body? Slowly releasing the left elbow down and relaxing into your forward fold, shaking out the head yes and no. From this position, let the toes go out, heels come in. We're gonna find our malasana, our garland pose. So drop the hips down, coming into our deep squat. Now, if this doesn't feel right for you, you can add a block. You could even stay up higher with those knees spread open. It's all good. Yeah. Move the feet open wider, draw them in. Press palms in towards each other. Take a deep breath in. Flare the nostrils. What's something you're excited about? Life can be hard and it can be beautiful. You know, we climb these mountains so that when you get to the top, you overlook it and you go, holy cow, this is the world around us. How beautiful. And life wouldn't feel so beautiful if it wasn't for those dark times, right? Slowly taking your time, relax the hips down to the earth, gracefully as you can. <laughs> and then we're gonna let those knees come up, soles of the feet down to the earth. Hands are gonna go behind the back. Oh, the sun's coming out, see? Light is gonna appear. And then drop the knees over to the right. Inhale, lift the knees up. Exhale over to the left. Inhale up. One more time, each side, finding that little bit of opening from the hips, internal, external rotation, and drop them over to the other side, to the left. And coming into center. You can take the blocks, maybe bring them forward, situate yourself so you don't have to reach for them later. And then we'll slowly lower down onto our backs, hugging the knees into the chest. Allow for the ankles to roll. Maybe the knees sway side to side. And then bring the left foot down to the earth. Let that right ankle cross on top of the left thigh. 
Now, either staying here, use a block, prop the foot on the block, or taking your time, keeping that cross, hug the legs into the chest, finding your figure four stretch. I personally grab onto my right knee and my right foot with my hands, and then I rock my body side to side. But if you'd like to grab on behind that left hamstring, the back of the left leg, do what feels right for you. Soften the jaw, soften the shoulders. Notice how those little bits of tension, the practice is to come back to release those tighter webbings. Deep breath in. And out. And then slowly releasing the left foot down, uncross the right leg, and we'll switch to the other side. So that left ankle will go on top of the right thigh. You might stay here and just see what that feels like to be in this position or keeping those cross, hug the legs in towards the chest. Using, again, the back of that right leg or the hands to hold on to the left leg at any point. Just shift, move, rock roll maybe you come back to the sensations or maybe you listen to the sound of nature around you birds in flight for although there might be a storm within you outside the world goes on so how do we come back to the simplicity take a deep breath in and as you exhale, slowly release down, relaxing left foot down to the earth. We are going to take our time, feet to the earth, hands are gonna go behind the back of the head. Let the elbows splay open, pressing the lower back into the mat, draw those abs in as much as you can. And then we're gonna lift that right knee into the chest and then draw the left shoulder towards the right knee. Pressing the lower back into the mat, draw those abs in, inhale, release down, exhale, lift the left knee, right shoulder to the left knee, draw those abs in, inhale down, exhale, right knee into chest, left shoulder, not the elbow, towards the knee, inhale down, exhale to march it out, that left knee lifts and release down one more time each side so if it feels easy for you connect deeper into it how do you make this work for you there's no such thing as anything that's too easy you can just tap in more and release down relax the head hug knees into chest give yourself two breaths to do what feels right for you knees can rock side to side We're gonna do one more abdominal exercise and we'll get some twists, a moment of relaxation, and we're good to go. So let those knees lift now at a tabletop position. If this doesn't feel right for you, go back to what we previously had done. Hands go behind the back of the head. So flex those feet, lift the head and shoulders to a hover, create space between your chin and your chest. Now from here, you're gonna extend that right leg and draw right shoulder to the left knee. Sound familiar? Bicycle crunch. Inhale back to center, bending knees, torso neutral. Exhale, extend left, left shoulder to the right knee. How do we find a smile when we're doing work? How do we do it? Come back to it. This is bringing us joy because we're strengthening our body. We're letting ourselves find that threshold of power. How cool is that? We have the time right now to focus on the one thing that is so important, that's you. You matter. We're gonna go just two more times per side, twisting left, center, twisting right, and center. And release once you finish that twist to the right. No race, no rush. Hugging those knees into the chest slowly. Let those knees drop open towards the right side. Let the left shoulder do whatever feels right for you. So if it doesn't go down to the mat, don't worry about it. Just let it stack on top of the left side of the body. Take a deep breath in. Maybe it feels good to extend that left leg to the right side, getting a deeper, broader stretch. And then slowly taking your time, we'll come back to center. 
can, we'll find our way to the opposite side, to the left. And maybe you notice the difference between light, right and left. Although it's the same thing on a different side, it's a different thing. Our body reacts differently in left to right. And slowly coming back to center, letting those knees come into the chest, give them a squeeze. Let them hug in, rock a little bit, circle out those ankles. And then at your own pace, slowly take your time. We're gonna release into our Shavasana. So those legs can extend forward, the arms can open up broadly to the sides, palms facing up. If that doesn't feel good for the lower back, bring support underneath the knees, or even bend those knees, knees can come together. So as you come into your Shavasana, let the eyes close. You just notice the world around you moving. Allow for the layers of body to become soft, pliable. Notice the swirling of thoughts. or the feeling of emptiness. Let the breath be able to fill, to support. Slowly take a moment to feel your body. Notice what it feels like to be you in this moment without the pressure of having to be anything, just to feel the release. Take a deep breath in. and sigh it out. Neither choosing to stay where you are or allowing some movement, circling, letting your body move its way into a fetal position on either side to feel cradled and supported and then pressing up into a seated position bringing hands into heart space and bowing your chin. May we always stay curious. May we always stay true to honor this journey, to honor the past us who has brought us here today and to be excited for everything we have yet to become. May we find our breath to bring us back to peace. And may we all know peace. Thank you so much for joining us here today, for showing up as you are and being who you are. All that I am bows to all that is within you. Namaste. So.
thank you for joining and um, continue to stay with us to connect to us. We're both on um, Instagram and uh, we're live on Facebook. So I hope you continue to be a part of it in the way that feels safe and healthy for you. Um, we are making all the necessary precautions and um, to make our studio safe. And so we've already done so much, Amy's done so much. And um, we're looking forward to being able to be with each and every one of you. And so it's, it's, it's coming, it's all coming. So thank you so much um, and be well, be well.